తలనొప్పి నరాల బలహీనత మూర్చ వ్యాధి పక్షవాతం బ్రెయిన్ స్ట్రోక్ బ్రెయిన్ ట్యూమర్స్ మెడ వెన్నముక సమస్యలు పక్షవాత సమస్యలకు పరిపూర్ణ వైద్యం డాక్టర్ రావుస్ హాస్పిటల్స్ గుంటూర్ మన దేశంలో మరెక్కడా లేని ఆపరేషన్ థియేటర్ అడ్వాన్స్డ్ ఎక్విప్మెంట్ అమెరికన్ టెక్నాలజీస్ అండ్ టెక్నిక్స్ న్యూరో సమస్య ఏదైనా డాక్టర్ రావ్స్ హాస్పిటల్ గుంటూర్ రండి చిరునవ్వుతో వెళ్ళండి నైన్ జీరో వన్ డబల్ జీరో ఫైవ్ సిక్స్ ట్రిపుల్ ఫోర్ నైన్ జీరో వన్ డబల్ జీరో ఫైవ్ సెవెన్ ట్రిపుల్ ఫోర్ డయాగ్నోసిస్ అండ్ అక్యూట్ మేనేజ్మెంట్ ఆఫ్ స్ట్రోక్ Early diagnosis and prompt management are critical in mitigating the effects of a stroke. In this section, we will explore the importance of recognizing the signs and symptoms of stroke, seeking immediate medical attention, diagnostic tests used in stroke evaluation, acute management options, and the significance of timely intervention and rehabilitation. Recognizing the signs and symptoms of stroke. Time is of the essence when it comes to stroke. Knowing the signs and symptoms can help individuals and their loved ones identify a stroke and seek medical help immediately. 1. The acronym FAST, face drooping, arm weakness, speech difficulty, time to call emergency, can serve as a valuable tool for recognizing the signs of stroke. 1. Face drooping. One side of the face may droop or feel numb. The smile may appear uneven. 2. Arm weakness. One arm may feel weak or numb and drift downward when raised. 3. Speech difficulty. Speech may become slurred or difficult to understand. The person may struggle to repeat a simple sentence correctly. 4. Time to call emergency. If any of these signs are present, it is crucial to call emergency services immediately, like 9,010,056,444 or 9,010,057,444. Importance of seeking immediate medical attention. In the event of a suspected stroke, time is of the essence. Rapid medical intervention can significantly improve outcomes and minimize long-term disability. Calling emergency services or going to the nearest stroke-ready hospital is crucial to receive timely treatment. Diagnostic tests. To determine the type, extent, and cause of a stroke, healthcare professionals employ various diagnostic tests, including 1. CT scan, computed tomography. A CT scan can quickly identify whether the stroke is ischemic or hemorrhagic, enabling medical professionals to decide the appropriate treatment course. 2. MRI, magnetic resonance imaging. An MRI provides detailed images of the brain, allowing healthcare providers to assess the extent of brain damage caused by stroke. 3. Angiography. Angiography uses contrast dye and X-rays to visualize blood vessels in the brain. It can help identify blockages or abnormalities contributing to the stroke. 4. Blood tests. Blood tests may be conducted to assess blood clotting factors, cholesterol levels, and blood sugar levels, providing additional information about the underlying causes and associated risks. Acute management options. Acute management of stroke focuses on restoring blood flow to the brain, minimizing further damage, and preventing complications. The appropriate treatment options depend on the type of stroke. 1. Ischemic stroke. Intravenous tissue plasminogen activator, IVTPA. IVTPA is a clot-busting medication administered within a specific time window, like 4.5 hours, to dissolve the blood clot causing the ischemic stroke. Mechanical thrombectomy. In some instances, mechanical thrombectomy may be performed, which involves using specialized devices like stentrevers and aspiration catheters hooked to a suction pump to physically remove the blood clot and restore blood flow to the brain. 2. Hemorrhagic stroke. Hemorrhagic stroke evacuation. In severe cases, surgical intervention may be necessary to remove the blood clot or relieve pressure on the brain caused by bleeding. Embolization of AVM or aneurysm. For specific cases, embolization procedures can block off abnormal blood vessels, AVM, or reinforce weakened blood vessel walls, aneurysm, to prevent further bleeding. The significance of timely intervention and rehabilitation. Timely intervention is crucial to minimize brain damage and improve outcomes. However, the journey to recovery extends beyond the acute phase. 
Rehabilitation is vital in maximizing functional abilities and promoting independence after a stroke. Rehabilitation programs may include physical, speech, occupational, and cognitive therapy. These programs aim to help individuals regain lost skills, relearn tasks, and adapt. Thanks for watching.